Okay, this is a two-page assignment. So if you take your packet and open it up, you'll have the graph opposite it. So what we're doing here is we're finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And what that means is, okay, if, if I say what you're doing is you're setting up two ordered pairs. And in one case, x is 0, and in the other case, y is 0. So if 3 times x is 0, what's 2, two times what is 6? 3. Okay, so you know that that one's... 3. So if y is 0, this one goes away. 3 times what is 6? Two. 2. You just found the x and the y intercept, where they cross the x and y axis. Here, we have 2, 0, 0, 3, so a is the word the. You're halfway done with a. Okay? So on the other side, what's the back of it? Okay, so on the letter A, I'm going to go to page 2. And I think I'll do it sideways because it's just as easy. Jesus? <laughs> Okay, so on letter A, we're going to graph 0, 3, 2, 0. So 0, 3. 0 means we're not going to go left or right on the x-axis. So we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. This is the y-intercept because it crosses the y-axis. So if x is 0 you have your y-intercept. Then we're going to go to 0, 1, 2, and we're not going to go up and down or up at all. That's the x-intercept because it crosses the x-axis. Then you draw your line, and you're done. You found the entire line just by finding your x-intercept and your y-intercept. In other words, by making x0 and by making y0.